Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Garrett, and welcome back to Steel Rising on the PlayStation 5. We're kind of bank tracking, doing a few little side quests, doing a little bit of adventuring, you know, the kind of good stuff. We're doing a, uh, the, the, what is it, the financial guy. He's wanting us to look for his wife, just to see if we can find her or give him closure. a clue that led us to believe that some people evacuated to the catacombs so we're heading there now to check out the place oh another upgrade yes Come on. Come on. Gotcha. Okay. So she might still be alive. There's a possibility. Ooh, flame grenade. Oh, you son of a... What? So there's pathway that way, pathway this way. Yeah, what's, what's, what's over here? Well, that was lackluster. I expected a little bit more. <laughs> Pop one of those for now. No sense of using our oil can. Come on. Oh, damn it. So, let's have to run by these guys. And to go down. <laughs> I was like, hey, wait. Ooh.
run past them. Hey, nerd. Charge up here. Back it up. <laughs> People should be here somewhere. Just in case, break it all. Oh, is it that is wait, hold on here. Was that a way out as well? Hold on. No? Okay. It's making sure. Oh, I should have used my upgrade. I found that upgrade on uh, <laughs> giving us a, a, either an extra more potency or an extra charge, one of the two. I don't remember which one it's for. Ho! Hello! Holy jeez. All right, right, let's pull back here a moment. Cause if I can pull that back, I can throw on some grenades. Oh my God, I hear him stomp stomping. Fuck. Go, go, go. Okay. I doubt he'll be able to get me from up here, right? Right? <laughs> okay. Uh, what do we got a lot of grenades of? Anything? This is going to be the um, situation of throw everything on and throw everything at him. Okay. I guess so.
Holy jeez. Wow. So two of these little ones lock him up. Oh. How's this not a boss? Thank God I had those grenades. You never know when they come in handy, that's for sure. They're almost OP. They're almost like too OP. <laughs> house now oh shit yeah Fantastic. Was there another path down there that I needed to look at? I feel like there was. Let's go back down real quick. Just real quick. I feel like there was another path down here that I didn't go down. Was there not? Uh, maybe I was just looking at... Okay. Okay. Fantastic. So now we just have the rider side quest. Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me. Ow. Okay, let's go ahead and let's just see if we can knock that out while we're here. Now, since I'm going and leaving, if... If we can just go ahead and just finish up now. Why leave and come back? Because there's a place to rest over at the church. But, I mean, eh. What do we need for upgrade? 10,000? We're at 7,000? Okay. Oh, wait, no, we got the one upgrade. We got the one upgrade. So, our potency. Nice. I need to get some more usage. I'd, like, I'd rather that right now. So, we have... The Riders. Because 
We couldn't find... Oh, we, I wonder if now that we beat the boss there, maybe there's a uh, place we can go. Totally possible. Ow. Yeah, because we were... There we go again. We weren't that far from that spot. Yoink. Ooh, new outfit. Any bit better? No, definitely a lot better with balance, but doesn't help me out with damn or defense. Whoa! So our. Horse guys should be yeah, all right, probably right about in here. One escaped. What the hell? That that gate's never been opened. I didn't pull that. So why did it open? Bunch of bullshit that was. Okay, I think that's it in here. So we can ride back and turn in some side quest here. Okay. Didn't realize that we could respond to things in there. Yeah, let's travel back here. Do do. What's up, nerds? Hey! Monsieur Necker. Madame? Eh bien, do you come bearing good news? Your wife. You may rest easy, monsieur. Your wife escaped the massacre. She returned home and left you this letter. Oh, and you. She's going to meet our daughter and son-in-law at our charity hospital. She may already be there. Madame, I did not dare to dream of such an outcome. My wife and daughter. Can you imagine? And I thought I had lost both of them. The three of us will be able to leave the kingdom and put these horrors behind us forever. What about the bombs? They are not in your possession. No, not yet. You must ensure they do not benefit the king, Madame. You will find them in the Amois de Fer, in the Palais de Tuileries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With them as you see fit. As long as the king does not use them. I'll go to the casino. Me, I'm going to find my family at once. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. I pray that your efforts will be successful. Adieu, madame. Adieu. Minister Necker has given his bonds to me. That's quite a nice little sum. Can you imagine? That's one-fifth of the kingdom's entire wealth. Wealth that the king squanders for his personal benefit according to his whims. Ma foi. Monsieur Necker certainly has been very generous to his adoptive country. Generous? 
I have my doubts. The loan was granted at a very high rate. So high, in fact, that it would have dug the deficit into an even deeper state of abyss. Eh bien, monsieur. To what use shall we employ this boonful fortune? If I could spend it, I'd do everything I could to return to the people their confiscated freedom. To begin. I would get them the okay, you guys can so debate about this need. once we've actually only done after something. The scourge of famine has been vanquished, that armed patriots might then be able to rise up against despotism. And where will you find wheat, Robespierre? Will you steal it from under the noses of the automats who have sworn to destroy the human race? As for arming the people, this is another one of your delusions. How could your ragged pack of wretches win any sort of battle that be unable to lift a sword? When you insult the people, you insult me, Monsieur de Lafayette. I am not insulting anyone, Robespierre. But I happen to know what it takes to fight, unlike you. Monsieur, I was but a lad of 15 when I took up arms. And everyone here knows my role in the liberation of America from British rule. If you allow me to dispose of these bonds, I will found an army that will annihilate the Clockwork King's diabolical machines. As soon as I have the opportunity to leave Paris, I will rally the officers and troops that are stationed in the provinces. Then, I will call for a mass uprising. I will have more than enough money to pay their wages and procure the weapons we need. And you will have obedient troops at your beck and call, ready to repress anyone who challenges your power. These troops will only serve the will of the people. I swear it. Are you sure that the king has spared the rest of the kingdom, Monsieur le Marquis? I am almost certain of it, mon père. Despite all of his resources, the king does not have enough manpower to occupy all the garrisons in the country. Aegis, no member of this assembly can force your hand. The choice oh, is yours. Shit. To whom will you entrust Monsieur Necker's bonds? I mean, they're not, yeah. The bonds are not yet in my possession. Then please continue your search. Okay. Sweet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a good place to pause it. We will continue our journey in the next episode. Oh, hold on here. Let's let's go ahead and knock this out real quick. Monsieur de Mirabeau, have your efforts paid off? Minister Necker claims that you are a familiar face at the Twillery Palace. Well, that old story. Will it hound me until I have drawn my last breath? This, madame, is nothing but an unfounded rumor that I am trying in vain to dispel. To what do I owe the displeasure of having to defend myself once Oh, again? chill out, man. I must get hold of some documents that are kept in an armored safe in the king's chambers. What lock could resist your talents? Minister Necker said it was indestructible. Hmm. Oh, I see. Well, let me think. Who could help you? After all... A lock is nothing more than a simple mechanism. Nothing that can resist the expertise of our dear Monsieur Bailly. Why don't you ask him for help? I'll be sure to do so. Now, who else might be of use? Oh, there's Monsieur Lavoisier as well, our gunpowder commissioner. Oh, he I'm sounds sure fun. I have no trouble finding you something you can use to blow the door off that stubborn safe. Good. I will go and find him. Now, if you'll forgive me, I have an urgent matter to attend. I'm sure you do. You are forgiven for everything. In that case, it has been a pleasure, madam. Interesting. Okay. Now, I think that's a great place to pause and we'll continue our journey. Oh my god. There's more things going on here. Well, shit. Well, I want to get all this kind of cleaned up before we go on to our next Monsieur stuff. B. I don't want to start oh, the next episode just by talking. Mademoiselle. I am very pleased to find you here with us within the shelter of these walls. I'm looking for a way to force a lock that is supposed to be unbreakable. Monsieur de Mirabeau advised me to ask you for help. But I'm an astronomer, mon enfant, not a locksmith. I know my way around lenses, filters, racks and tripods. But I've never given a moment's thought to how a lock works. God, Monsieur de Mirabeau was joking with you, that's all. Où est-il, ce brave homme? so that we might ask him. He has left. A matter that could not wait. Excuse me? Do you mean he left the convent? That's madness. What was so important that he would put himself in such danger? Good question. Intriguing indeed. 
Monsieur Lavoisier. Madame, you're my guardian angel. I don't know anything about you or what drives you, but I owe you my life and can refuse you nothing. I would like to access the contents of a safe that is supposedly unbreakable. Dare I ask for your help, Monsieur Lavoisier? And how can I be of assistance to you, madame? I need gunpowder to break through the door. Gunpowder? But I don't have a speck of it, mon ami. <laughs> do you think I just walk around with explosives in my pockets? Some people oh. do! I apologize. It was Monsieur de Mirabeau's idea. Mirabeau? What is this ridiculousness? I suspect he knows full well whatever he's playing at. Where is the animal? So we can ask him what's truly going on. He has left. He had an urgent matter to attend to. Eh bien. I'm sorry, madame. If I could inspect the safe and determine what metal was used in its fabrication, I might be able to find a solution. But given the circumstances, I'm sadly not in a position to help you. I understand. How do you intend to counter the King's actions? Unfortunately, we don't have the upper hand. For now, we can only hope to protect ourselves from him. I am convinced that something is afoot. Something that could destroy all our hopes in an instant. You have my full attention. You should know that I am a gunpowder commissioner. As such, I oversee the provision of gunpowder to the Kingdom's arsenals. L'Arsenal de Paris in particular. For the past two days, a large quantity of gunpowder from Marsanji Saint-Gy has been sitting near Les Invalides. Who's ever running the camera right now just can't keep it focused on what's going on? <laughs> to take possession of the cargo and transport it to the Arsenal have gone missing. Do you realize what this means? The gunpowder could have fallen into our enemy's hands. It's possible. One thing is certain. It's enough to destroy half of Paris. Whether it is still in the warehouse or has fallen into the wrong hands, we must find it urgently. Then, if possible, we must neutralize it. How? Simply by placing it in contact with water. Nothing could be easier in theory, but we must find a way to flood it. Flood the gunpowder. <laughs> You're out of your mind, Lavoisier. We're in the most desperate of situations and you want to deprive us of such a valuable resource. What will our cannons use once we have formed our army of patriots? Your army, Marquis, is presently but a figment of your imagination. I see. So you're one of those men who would sound the retreat before the battle has even begun. I will go to the warehouse. Once I have located the powder, I will decide what to do with it. Whew. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now is a great time to pause. So we'll continue our journey in the next episode now that we've cleaned up all the uh, conversations and just keep everything rolling. So thank you all for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like. It does help me out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel because I have tons of videos going on over there. And until next time, you guys, stay frosty.